content servers unreachable error for Steam. Uh, first of all, the first solution is to remove proxy settings. A proxy server is used in organizations where open internet access is restricted. So first of all, uh, there are two ways uh, to disable the proxy in the computer. Um, let's open Chrome and then click on this menu button. Now we'll click on settings. In settings, we're going to search for proxy. And when you see open proxy settings uh, option, click on it. And in here, go to LAN settings. And make sure the automatically detect settings is unchecked. And then click on OK. And then uh, proceed on clicking OK across this Chrome window and then open up Steam. Okay, so it's launched and uh, the other method is to check via network settings. So let's close this Steam and press Windows and R. Type I N E T cpl dot cpl and uh, the rest of the method is same we have to go to connections and then land settings and uncheck the first option which is automatically detect settings and uh, also see if the proxy settings are enabled make sure to uncheck these settings too now uh, we launch the steam and see if you are able to use it other solution is to disable some Chrome extensions. If you have, if you are using a Ghost Tree extension, uh, then you will need to uh, remove the extension. So, uh, if you are using that, make sure that you have disabled that extension. Now, the third solution is to change your download region. Now open Steam and click on Steam and then click on Settings. In Settings, you will find a Downloads option in the left pane. You can change your region from here, like uh, you can move it to Sweden or you can move it to UK London. And then you can uh, try again. Or if it is selected different than your own region then make sure you have selected your region in which you are using the steam and then restart the steam and check if the issue is resolved Close out steam now. another solution is to delete the client registry blob file now we need to browse to the steam directory we go to C Program files, uh, program files, etc. Six, Steam, and uh, see if we can get so I don't have the file here, it should be client registry dot blob. Uh, Let's try to search it here. Uh, it's client registry dot blob. So we need to search for this file, and if you find this file, just rename it uh, and uh, make it like uh, client registry old dot blob or something else, and then restart the Steam, and then see if uh, Steam is working fine. Now if you have started Steam and it's not working fine then we have to go back to Steam's directory and see if you can find steamreporter.exe in here. Uh, here it is Steam Reporter just run it and uh, once it is executed we need to relaunch Steam and see if the error is gone.
The next solution is to clear the Steam download queue. Uh, if you have a lot of pending downloads in your Steam client, um, we'll advise to remove them all except the one uh, which you want to, you know, play right now or play first and um, remove rest of the uh, downloads. So open your Steam client and go to library. In library, uh, you should be able to see a button which says download paused. Um, if you click in here, you will see all the downloads which are paused and uh, which are in queue. So we need to like uh, remove all of them. Just keep the one which you want to play first and keep clicking on this cross button to cancel all the downloads which, uh, which are not required yet. And then uh, you can go uh, back one step and right click on the uh, cancelled games and click on uninstall. We have to repeat these steps for all the pending downloads which we just have crossed. Next solution is to using flush config. Uh, we'll press windows and R key and type in steam colon forward slash forward slash flush config press ok and then restart the steam provide your credentials and see if the issue is off the next solution is to start steam in safe mode with networking uh, I'm on Windows 10 so I will restart my computer to advanced option can refer to our article um, um, which which tells you about different operating system and how we can start uh, these operating system into safe mode for now I'm restarting Windows 10 into safe mode by uh, holding the shift key right click on start menu and then click on restart while we are still holding the shift key now let's go to troubleshoot advanced options and start settings we'll press on restart Now you have uh, nine options in which we need to select the fifth option which is enable safe mode with networking. We'll press F5 uh, since it was the fifth option and let's wait for the windows to start. Okay so the windows are back. We're gonna start Steam again and see if the issue is resolved. Uh, another solution is to disable the safe web uh, from your router open any browser and uh, type in 192.168.0.1 this address can vary uh, from router to router use uh, the uh, login credentials and then uh, you will you can you'll see parental control or uh, virus section or filtering section in here we uh, we will disable the parental control or any virus protection that might have been enabled in the router settings once this is done restart your router and then restart steam and see if the issue is resolved so our next solution is to disable antivirus and uh, windows defender or the windows firewall uh, we'll give you some examples here uh, i have the cafe and casper sky installed on my computer uh, first of all i'll try to an example of my cafe just need to uh, this turn off the real-time scanning uh, for a couple of uh, minutes like uh, open my cafe find the real-time scanning option and turn it off once it is turned once it is turned off just uh, <coughs> open this team log in with your credentials Ready. Right click on the game that is having problems. Click on properties. 
in properties go to local files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files once it is done uh, close all the windows and uh, then relaunch uh, steam and see if the issue is resolved uh, another example is of ESET node 32 antivirus we need to add an exclusion in there uh, the default folder or default installation directory for steam is c drive program file x86 and then steam copy this location and add this in the ESET node 32 exclusion file and uh, you should be able to find a uh, setting in ESET node 32 which is exclude from real-time scanning so stop real-time scanning in the steam directory and once it is done restart your computer and launch steam and see if the issue is resolved the other example that uh, we can take is Kaspersky antivirus in Kaspersky launch the uh, antivirus console and then go to settings uh, in settings go to add, uh, additional settings and in here you will find threats and exclusions in here you will click on manage exclusions and click on add button and add the folder of steam uh, installation directory you can also select steam.exe here but it's better to exclude complete directory of steam once done just restart steam and see if the issue is resolved uh, last thing is about windows defender click on start menu and type windows defender and click on windows defender in the results to open it sorry about that I'll try again Defender and here you'll see a lot of options like um, your PC is protected, real time production is on, uh, quick full or custom scan. We just need to click on settings settings will go for exclusions let's add an exclusion and we will add uh, a folder which is C program files x86 and steam so let's go to C program files x86 click on steam and click on exclude this folder now we'll need to restart computer once the computer is back online uh, we will run steam with administrative privileges and hopefully it will get resolved if uh, nothing so far has worked for you then uh, the last option is to reinstall or download the latest steam client so we'll be going to uh, windows and r key in the run, di run dialog we'll type in uh, c program files x86 slash steam press ok and it will take you to the uh, location in here uh, we will need to uh, delete all the files except steam.exe application uh, steam apps and user data other than these three uh, items uh, steam.exe steam apps and user data we will delete the rest of the items so let me select all the files and uncheck steam apps user data and steam.exe and delete the rest of the files once these are deleted we will go to steam web online and we will download the latest steam client uh, we won't uh, we won't be you know uh, launching the old steam.exe which we just excluded from here uh, we'll just uh, install the install scheme using the installer uh, uh, that we downloaded and once it is done uh, we will you know relaunch the application using the new icon um, I hope this video will be helpful for you please don't forget to subscribe our channel and thanks for watching